All right, thank you for viewing our video and our eBay listing, if that's how you found us today. Um, this is a unique machine. This is the first time that we've ever offered this model. Um, I'm guessing it's a pretty rare model. Um, it's black, and it's a white model. It's a white brand. Um, never seen a black, white. It's a model 628. It's a little beast. It's basic, straight zigzag. Um, 1.3 amp motor, um, variable stitch width, variable stitch length, and it has this little lock system here. It's pretty cool. Like you can lock your length where you want it so it doesn't move. If you want it to be up here for shorter, you put it down up, and then if you put it down on five, it'll get longer. And it is a true reverse feed. You put it up, and it will sew backwards. Um, bob and winder, of course. And it is smooth as silk, runs smooth as silk. Um, unthread the needle. If you just turn hand wheel, watch, it's like it just turns on its own and you can't even hear it. It's just like amazing. Of course, the motor is going to make a little sound, but this machine is truly amazing in amazing working condition. Cosmetically, it's very shiny. My husband had to work a little while on getting off a layer of grime and residue. But, um, it's super nice. Turn the light. As you can see, when I turn the light on, there are some scratches on the deck. There's like a kind of a deep one there. Um, but it's still very shiny. It's not crazed. It's not crackled like some of the black paint that you see. And it's very very shiny across the top and on the main head unit nose is very nice it is an all-metal machine uses standard tall shank screw-on accessories 15 by 1 needles and class 15 bobbins needles and bobbins can be bought at any basic sewing supply store or any hobby store that carries basic supplies you can even get them at Walmart um, I have a hammer foot that I can include with it. My my foot supply is dwindling down. Um, I just include what I find with machines. I don't really buy feet to include. And that's how I keep our prices low. I don't ask $300 for these machines. Um, even though they are the same machines that other sellers claim are industrial strength. This is not an industrial strength machine. This is a household machine that's very heavy duty. And I'm going to show you what it'll do. You can hear it run. I love this machine. I don't have a use for it. I don't do heavy duty sewing. If I did, I would probably keep it because it's just too cool. And it has three level feed dogs also. I forgot that. You can drop them. You can put them on silk. See, look at that. You can't even hear it run. I mean, it's just like, wow. Your straight stitch. Put it out on this guy. I mean, really, this machine is amazing. Your zigzag, and of course, you can do creative embroidery, which is where you narrow and widen your stitch as you're sewing which I'm doing right now, and I'll show you a close-up of it. And this machine has some speed. I'm not even going full speed. Beautiful stitches. There's a creative embroidery pattern. Perfectly balanced stitch, no matter what I was doing. Just an awesome, awesome machine. Let's do 10 layers of cotton blend. And this is going to do this heavy duty stuff without a hitch. I mean, look at that. It's just awesome. No sound whatsoever. Beautifully quiet. Beautiful balance stitches on 10 layers of cotton, 6 layers of denim. And if you've ever tried to sew through a seam on a pair of jeans, you know that it's virtually impossible unless you have the right machine with the right amount of power. This machine is that machine. 
Not sure of the year of manufacture of this, but I believe it's one of the earlier ones just because of the color and the style of the machine. You will also get a PDF copy of the instruction manual mailed to you, emailed to you after purchase. You can download or view it from your computer. And this is six layers of woven upholstery with a rubber backing. Still, no problem, no noise, no challenge for this beauty. No, you can't see the stitches. You will get these fabric samples, and you do get bobbins too. I don't have them laying here, but I'm sending you some bobbins also. Last but not least, we are going to do some leather. It's a medium weight leather. It's a floppy leather. It's not belt. It's not the stiff stuff that you'd make a knife sheath out of or something like that. And if you're going to do consistent work with leather, I do suggest investing in a walking foot attachment. Because as you can see, I'm on the longest stitch there is, and it's pulling the leather through with pretty short stitches. A walking foot attachment would help it feed, because this is sticky fabric, and it is raw underneath. But it's still beautiful. It still pulled it through without a hitch. Um, but a walking foot attachment would help it feed through nice and evenly for you. And a walking foot you can get for about twelve or thirteen dollars. It's if you're going to consistently do leather work or vinyl. That is the vintage white model six twenty eight one point three amp machine.